working on the weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas call me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day the number, but I keep waking up Know you see my text, baby, please say something Wine by the glass, man, I cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout I don't even know what that's about, watch your mouth Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib I can never tell a shit, it is what it is Said what I had to Smaller the basket, the less things you can get. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist, doing front flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas where they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Another day, another vlog, another 24 hours to become the best version of yourself. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But I'm just cleaning my face. I'm about to go ahead and do some makeup. You guys know that I rarely do makeup, but I'm really trying to tap into my feminine woman era before i had my daughter i used to love makeup i went through postpartum i was dealing with depression and you guys all know because i didn't told you before you guys are about to see the biggest transformation not just physically but spiritually mentally you guys are going to look back at this vlog six months from now and be like damn she's not even the same person no I'm not because I'm about to put that work in. Okay, I just got done watching a uh, TikTok, and one of my biggest pet peeves is someone clowning another person. Occupation, like someone clowning someone for working for whoever or whatever. You know, like it's a job. It's literally a job. Why are you clowning them for having a job? People are so annoying. I remember I went out with a group of girls. They were basically talking about this security guard that was working there. And when I say it left like the worst taste in my mouth, we were at like this restaurant, literally in the middle of us eating, I packed up my shit and I left. <laughs> I was just like, I'm gonna need you to move out the way so I can get to my car ASAP. What makes you want to talk about someone for getting up choosing to make their money live their life like do you know how weird that is if you guys see the lines flicker on the screen i have led lights and sometimes my camera does that sometimes it doesn't but sometimes it does i really can't control it so bear with me honestly truly get a life get a life if you do that get a life honestly truly honestly honestly Honestly, I wouldn't lie to you. Tomorrow for sure.
All right, you guys, obviously it is the next day. I think you guys are cricket, hold on. I did do a sit down video, so if you guys are interested, go watch it, cause I just uploaded it and it should be uploaded before this vlog. But anyways, I just got off of work, as you guys can tell, okay? So I'm about to tell you. Okay, so I woke up this morning and I went to the gym and I love that for me, um, but I worked my calf muscles, you guys. Oh my God, I worked my calf muscles and they just, I feel like I'm going to have a muscle spasm tonight and I'm actually really nervous to go to sleep because if you have ever had a trolley horse in your calf, the worst pain ever, literally the worst pain ever. Today, I spent a good hour and 20 in the gym today because I've been working on my arms, right? So I've been working on my arms because y'all, I'm about to tell y'all a story. <laughs> so um, a couple days ago, right? Okay, I was watching the TikTok girlies, y'all. Real quick, we're gonna have a little chit chat, real quick. And they were doing like pull-ups and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? I want to see if I have any upper body strength because I never really try to test my upper body strength. And girl, <laughs> y'all, I tried to do a push up, and when I'm telling you, I could not do one. I could not do one push up. I was okay with that. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna work more on my upper body strength so that I can at least do one push up. So that's what I've been doing lately. But y'all, tell me why my body is so dramatic. <laughs> my body is so dramatic, y'all. Tell me why I woke up the next day and all of this is sore. All of this is sore and my back is sore. And I'm like, <laughs> it's so funny to me because it's like, bro, you didn't even do anything. <laughs> y'all, I literally, I... I cracked myself up like I really woke up y'all and I was so sore and I was like why am I so sore <laughs> what am I so sore from I'm like I know it was not that one push-up I did yesterday <laughs> y'all I was sore from one push-up so that just tells me that um, I haven't really been working out my upper body so I've been really focusing on that for the past couple of days cuz that was funny that was hilarious so um, yeah, today we did cardio and we hit upper body and um, I had me a nice little bagel and cream cheese. I think I'm gonna have me a protein smoothie. I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. Is it good? Yeah. Later.
victim of the system, but I'm a suspect to the victim. I'm in church with a load of weapons. I can't even trust the reverend. I'm praying with my eyes open, hoping I don't catch the cold. 19 bullets in a 40. You're not from round one round, boss. Hey, guys. So it is a new day. It's actually a couple days later. Okay, so the last time you guys seen me, I was meal prepping. You guys know that I'm on this challenge where I'm doing like OMAD for 30 days. So today is day 19. I haven't really even been updating you guys on this challenge just because. We literally have about two months left of 2023. I've been really trying to get organized because I really do want 2024 to be the best year of my life. So I've been journaling a lot. I've set like a strict routine one thing that i learned about myself is that when i create actual like routines that's like detailed very detailed it helps me with being consistent so i don't really get the urge to pick up the vlog camera because i i set a routine for myself and i'm just doing that routine every day so it's nothing new i also plan on having me a nice little mary jane moment and i'm going to be writing my daily affirmations on them and i'm just going to be sticking them on my mirror just I'm trying to do anything to keep me in the mindset that I'm in right now just because, you know, motivation comes and goes. So one day you can be really motivated and the next day you can, you know, it can be completely gone. So I'm just trying to do things that's going to help me stay in that mindset and stay consistent. Also, I got me a Sephora package. So I feel like after giving birth and then gaining weight and then going through all of the motions, like I just forgot about myself. I really just want to pour more into myself. So I got me some goodies from Sephora that's going to help with my skin. It cost me about $200. <laughs> yeah, all of this costs about $200, y'all. But it's definitely worth it. I got these brightening and clearing eye masks from Tropicals. How it looks tropicals faded tropicals also got this faded brightening and clearing serum so this is supposed to help with my dark marks because y'all for all of the years that i have been living my skin has not been this bad ever and it's so weird because i don't like i thought you would get marks if you are like physically popping them like that will leave a mark and I don't I don't do that but I'm still getting marks like they're leaving marks behind and I really don't know why I really don't sunscreen so this one is the Innisfree the Innisfree UV defense sunscreen I heard this was a really good sunscreen I also got this and this was expensive for this little bitty bottle it was like 63 bucks but I heard it was really good. So I'm like, whatever I can do to help on like my skin journey, you know, I want my skin to get back to normal. I want to start focusing on, you know, skincare, makeup, you know, things to really push me into my feminine era. This was 63 bucks. So you have this little travel size. They gave me this for free. And I'm like, thank you because for this, this is $63. 63. Got this Anastasia Jet Clear Brow Gel. Now, I tried it last night and it didn't really do what I thought it was going to do, but I bought it, so I'm going to keep trying it. Anastasia Soft Brown Eyebrow Pencil. I tried this last night. I'm in love. I love it getting our life together okay period and i also got these cute shoes from tj maxx and they're so cute i need to show you guys look how cute they are you guys see my little <laughs> my little decorations my little spider up there decorated the house okay for zyla for halloween but anyways uh, my plan is to be more consistent, so I'm just going to start, you know, putting out the videos that I feel like I like and the, putting out the videos that I feel like is, you know, 
on par with my niche. You guys know I hate pre-workout, but I ran out of Celsius, so this is the only thing that I can do for today. A 45 minute cardio workout is better than no workout at all. So highly recommend if you are feeling like you just, you don't feel like going to the gym, just go to the gym, walk the treadmill, just be active. 